Welcome here, Tim the Blacksmith. Today, we're setting out on making a front door handle. It's gonna be forged. It's gonna have a little bit of machining to support the working parts of the door handle. I'm really looking forward to that. Let's jump over to the plan to show you what's going on before we set out to make this a reality. Here we go. I quickly put this on here so you can see the chicken scratch plan. So hopefully you can make this out. This is gonna be the rectangle piece of steel here that will basically all the door handle will sit on the deadbolt. I'm gonna cut in these corners, hoping to do that hot with a curved chisel. So that'd be on each corner. And then the handle's gonna sit here, the deadbolt here. You can see I've been playing around with some stuff, thinking on um, what the handle's gonna look like, thinking something like this. And then the handle's gonna sit off the door so this is the handle here, cross section, there's gonna be this part here. So I think I'm gonna jump into forging this. I've been undecided if I'm gonna make a swage up, that's what I was playing with here, or just free form it on the anvil. I'm gonna think on that a little bit more. And then Martin, he doesn't know this yet, is gonna start machining this part here for me. So that's the game plan for this. I'm gonna give Martin the details of what he's gotta do.
Okay, so I just got these guys forged up. You just saw that. Really happy on how they turned out. I decided just to do it freeform between the power hammer and the anvil, making a special tooling for that. It's a little bit rougher than maybe it could have been, but I'm okay with the way it looks. So the next step will be to quickly drill a hole in the back of this, which will receive the part that Martin's working on, and then that'll be how the handle mounts basically to the door handle plate. So that's next up. Okay, so just got the hole in here and gonna now find the part that Martin has made. This is where I start to get excited. I love it when machined parts come together with forged parts. Just for some reason, it's my thing. So this actually here is stainless steel. I actually just stuck it in the forge to, to create as close as we could a surface that looked forged. So now we're gonna fit it up to here. Oh, no. Uh, Martin, what's going on here? This, this is loose. Hey, we're gonna be right back after the messages. We're just checking the ID and OD on these parts to see what's going on. So I got a drilled hole at 0.633 or 35. So that's actually, that's bigger than 5 eighths, which is what we're shooting for. What do you got on there, Martin? So what's going on here is that I take responsibility on this one. I should have drilled this hole first and then got Martin to machine it to spec. I don't have a reamer, so I just used the, the 5 8 drill bit and it is oversized considerably, so this part is now loose. This was supposed to sit together tight. So, I guess that's no fun. We're gonna have to redo that part then. Yeah. So what, what our plan is, is that Martin's going to remachine this part here to match the spec of this hole because it's oversized, because we can't remake this, or it's easier to remake that than it is to do that. So that's our plan, game plan. Okay. So when we're getting our life sorted out on these parts, I'm gonna jump on and start working on the base here. So I'm gonna make a curved chisel up, because I don't have one, to hopefully notch that out, and then uh, make the plate, texture it, cut it off. Super quick, here we go. So I've been just fighting around with this curved chisel 
and uh, I'm not super happy on how it's turning out because cutting it in is just not super accurate. And so when you look at the piece when it's finished, it's very like, it just makes you feel like, ugh. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try getting some grinding wheels that are like the right diameter and I'm just gonna cut it off, grind it in and then just reforge it so that at least it looks really good. Just for the amount of time and the quantity that I have, it's not worth wasting more time trying to get this figured out with the hot chisel. So a little bit unfortunate, but that's just what we're gonna do. Well, unfortunately, just because of where we're at, I'm gonna cut the video off here. I was really hoping to get it done in one. I guess we're gonna have a second part now, uh, just because of the problems, everything that's been arising, it's taking longer than I was hoping. Hope that'll be out next week, but not 100% sure. I'm really excited about the next step because I get to do broaching, which is uh, taking a round hole and making it square. I've never done that before, pretty excited about it. Let me show you the tool. No, wait come back next week to see that happen. Anyways, really appreciate you sticking it out to the end. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a great rest of your day. See you later.